Hello, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today, we're going to take a look at creating favicons. You don't know what a favicon is? A favicon is a little icon. Um, well, here, let me show you. Here we go. This site, you've probably been here before, you've probably seen it. It's a great site, you have to check it out. Um, well, this guy has a favicon as, you know, sort of like a mini logo. You can see it right up here. Comes up in the URL bar, and it also shows up on a tab if you're using tab browsers, but that's not it. It also shows up in your bookmarks. You see right here, it's in the bookmarks. So, favicons, and well, you can see this guy's got one, and this guy's got one. All these different sites, so many sites out there have favicons uh, for a variety of reasons. Number one, they're really easy to do, and once you understand how to make them, um, they're very, very easy to do, and making them is not hard at all. Understanding how to make them is very easy. Um, uh, reason number two is because of you know visual identification. You can tell quickly that this tab is for this convertico.com site. When you're browsing your bookmarks, you've got a little thumbnail. It's like a little image, so people can browse through their bookmarks much faster. You don't have to read every entry. So that is the advantages um, or disadvantages to some of you. Uh, having a favicon, I like having favicons because I think they're cool. So I have uh, you know favicons, and this is how we make them. First off, we need to uh, be able to make the favicon. We can create it in Photoshop just like any other uh, graphic document. We're going to take care of creating one in just a minute. But before we do that, I just want to go back to my web browser, right click Google search, and uh, I found two applications. Um, one is a, well, one's a plugin, and one is an online thing that I have used before that I like. Um, this one is convertico.com. In order to have a favicon, you need to have a .ico file, which is a .windows icon file. So it's .ico is the extension. And this place converts them for you because Photoshop doesn't do it automatically and Windows file browser doesn't do it. So this place does it online. Or you can go over to this other site. It's www.telegraphics.com.au. This guy's a free plugin for Photoshop and Illustrator and other software apparently. It is simply a plugin that allows you to save out ICO format files directly from Photoshop. All right, so you can come here, download it for free if you like it. Donate some money to this guy. And uh, that's what that's all about. I can just show you real quick. I prefer this method personally. You just download it. Uh, if I can remember what folder you put it in, you take it into your Photoshop folder, obviously. Then I believe the presets folder, and then you have a plugins folder. And inside of the plugins folder, there should be a file formats folder. I believe, believe, believe that is the folder it goes in. Almost 100% certain. You can check it out. If it doesn't work, uh, run a little Google search. I'm sure you'll come up with some information. So this is the one I prefer, and I have it working in action over here. I'm just going to create a new document. I'm just going to favor cons. Their size is 16 by 16. So they can be a little difficult to draw. You can see how small they are. Now, what we're actually going to do is start with a much bigger image and just size it down at the end. But I need 16 by 16 to save it out as a favicon. So I'm going to go save as here on my desktop. And from the file format drop down menu, I can just choose ICO, Windows Icon, .ICO. If you don't have that plugin, you don't have this option. And coincidentally, you cannot make favicons directly from Photoshop. So I prefer having the plugin. So I'm just going to close that. Uh, Photoshop document and open up a new one. I'm going to start with a file. It's got to be divisible by 16, otherwise everything becomes all contorted and distorted and looking weird. I'm going to do 256 by 256. It's a size I typically like to work with for favicons. Nice, uh, you know, it's just, it is. I'm going to just grab a gradient, uh, any old color really. I'll just grab this sky blue or maybe this red to black gradient and just draw straight up and down gradient just like that and uh, grab the custom shape tool set it to filled pixels and what we're going to do in here is just I don't know we'll take the little crown and just draw it whoops and make a white crown right here whoops, right here in the middle by the way I'm holding shift to constrain proportions I'm using spacebar to move myself around as I draw this out there we go a nice white crown Okay, so we want this to be our site's favicon. Now, it really doesn't match our site at all, but we're not concerned about that. We're just looking at favicon. First thing we need to do is go image, image size, and we need to make sure the width and height are, are 16. 16 by 16, important. You can't save it out as a favicon if it's not 16 by 16, so make sure it's 16 by 16. 
When you resize an image to 16 by 16 and you choose Save As, you get that icon option. So we're just going to call this guy uh, Favicon, for lack of a better name. Favicon.ico. We actually don't need to add that extension. It would be added automatically, but I did it. Anyway, so save. And I can close this file, and we are done there. Done in Photoshop. Before I check out my desktop, I can see I've got this .ico file sitting up here in the top left-hand corner. And uh, looking good. So we need to now come into Dreamweaver where we can set this up. It's really simple to do. And I'm using Dreamweaver CS3 here, but you can use any version of Dreamweaver. You can use Go Live. You can use Front Page. You can use Windows Notepad because we're just going to be doing a little bit of hand coding. Adobe <coughs> has not included some kind of a quick and easy way yet into Dreamweaver to simply add a favicon. We have to hand code, at least as far as I know. I may be missing some huge thing, but I am almost certain they have not included it. So what we need to do is come over to the code view, and well, first thing I'm gonna do is make my code a little bigger. And actually, because I've received a few questions, how, how do I make my code bigger for my videos? Well, here's how. I go Edit, Preferences, in here, Select the fonts category, and you've got code view. You can choose a font and a size. I usually set it to the largest size, which is 16 point. Make it nice and easy for you guys to see. All right, so we've got bigger code here now. Now we can start uh, coding. The bit of code for the favicon has to go between the opening head tag, which is right here on line three, and the closing head tag, which is gonna be after the CSS, right here on line 78. Of course, me stating line numbers is gonna make absolutely no sense because you guys aren't working with the same exact HTML page as me. So you're looking for your closing and your opening head tags. This bit of code has to fall between the opening and closing head tags. So we're gonna put it right after the title here. Hit the enter or return key to give myself an extra line of code. Now, we have our ICO file, but we actually haven't brought it into Dreamweaver yet. So let's get it into Dreamweaver before we start typing up our code. I'm gonna hit Control Alt O or Command Option O. That gives me bridge. I'm going to choose my desktop. And hey, look, there's favicon.ico. Drag him right down and just drop him into the root of our site. Minimize bridge. You can see he's sitting right down there. Favicon.ico. So that's the file we need to reference. Matter of fact, just to make things more difficult for ourselves, I'm gonna drag favicon.ico into the images folder. So now he's inside of a folder. How do we get to it? Well, here's what we need to do. Pretty easy. Again, this has to be between the head, the open and closing head tags. All right, we're gonna choose angle bracket pointing toward the left. Okay, there we go. An angle bracket pointing to the left. Type the word link space rel link rel equals and we're going to do uh, double quotes we're just going to say shortcut uh, icon close double quote space href just like any other link equals double quote now here's where we say images because it's inside the images folder forward slash fave icon dot i c o close quote, close bracket, and uh, Dreamweaver there has put a slash in for us. I'm gonna go back to the design view. I'm gonna save my document, and I'm going to click on this little globe and choose preview in Firefox, and let's see if it works. Check it out. Look at that, we have a favicon there. We have one here, and if this were a live site and we bookmarked it, we'd also have one in the bookmark section. So that's how you create a favicon. Really, really super easy, and um, you know, they're really great to do. It's just that one little line of code right here. So, study it long and hard. It all comes down to one little line of code. And that is how you insert a favicon into your website. So, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Please go check out the website. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you for watching.